Delmar International Development Society was formed to improve declining standards of education and healthcare facilities, create a healthy environment and empower youth to combat rising levels of drug and alcohol abuse in Dilma, Punjab, as well as other parts of India. Further, we have begun working on raising cultural awareness of those living in countries such as the UK so that we may come together and preserve what is most important to us. Our heritage. The charity started around six years ago as a small group of people banding together to put money in to improve small initiatives in the ancestral village of Dilma in Punjab. Today, this very charity has grown to include members of the UK, Canada and America, as well as a support group in Dilma itself. Having recently been registered as a charity in the UK, Dilma International Development Society looks forward to making a more resounding difference by virtue of its efforts. But before we can look to the future, the question remains, how did it all begin? I was in India uh, at the time and I felt the need that our surroundings there were very poor. The sewerage system, the roads, the lighting, uh, the health service, the schools, and everything were decadent. You know, the things weren't happening. There was a lot of um, uh, corruption in, 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 in the government circles. And nobody wanted to do anything because everybody wa thought it was somebody else's job. Hence the need. Uh, appeared to be that we need to do something and I uh, was out of that situation for 40 years living in this country in the UK realized that, that we need to help ourselves and we try to get some people together uh, the first project uh, I took on while I was building my own house was to uh, sort one of the choppers out which is a, a small uh, was a s smaller sea bridge thing which was overflowing. We started it, uh, six months, uh, hard work convincing people, we finally managed to turn it, in, turn it into a, a beautiful park as well as a, a, a part of um, the thing as a, a sewer system. And when people saw what we can achieve, then they asked us to, to that they will help, they will want to help. Uh, could we start and sort the other parts of the village uh, and that's how it started it was the need of the hour it was people fed up wanted to do something and I was there at the right time in the right place and it all started people began to realize that with some effort and organization a notable difference can be made to the lives of the poorest and most unfortunate and so emerged a more long-term plan for our work in Dilma. So first priority was to tackle 
to set up a society, set up a charity, uh, and it ha uh, we've given it its objectives. The main objectives were the environment, health, education, and and bring up some of the lives of the people who were living in poverty and, and squalid conditions. And we started with Zero System, which uh, to some extent we were very successful. We took a uh, two kilometer pipeline we put down to take the dirty water away from the village and use some of that water for irrigation. The second pr project we took on, which uh, uh, my uh, brother, elder brother or cousin uh, Th Tharam Singh was very influential in it for the hospital uh, and instigator was uh, Sonia uh, who suggested that the hospital is in a very bad way. Uh, anybody coming to an um, um, emergency will get more sick rather than get better uh, and uh, Tharam Singh took that challenge on and he was the biggest contributor in that not only contributed money but he also went to India and supervised the work being done and we restored that hospital to its original grandeur um, and today that hospital is doing very well we have got back there the uh, uh, delivery uh, children which people had to go to the city which was uh, an hour drive away. So now all the deliveries are done in the village, in the hospital. The uh, wards are being properly organized now, the doctors are there. So the, the, it was all down to that initial start by Sonia Tharam Singh. Uh, and they are the people we must appreciate that they had the vision to, to get into that. After the hospital, then our girls' high school, which in India now, most of the education is private education. If you can afford to send your kid and children, that's where the education is. All the government schools are being let down, the buildings are falling apart, the, the teachers are not there. So we thought if, if we want to help the poor in our society, if we can help the government high school, empower the teachers, empower the, the people, the children coming there, then we can help those very poor to get their lives up and running, and especially girls. Uh, it is a neg neglect, uh, un, you know, it is unfortunate that the girls are neglected in our society there. Uh, and we, uh, being here in the UK, we understand the value of uh, girls and boys doing well for the family, for themselves. That's the only way we can bring up the family or the city or the country. If both girls and boys are doing well, get a good education and, uh, and jobs. So that's, that was the, the, that third project. We built a brand new school, a lot of effort, money gone into it. But no point building a school if we can't give a good education in those schools. So these children now not only get free uniforms, free, we pay their fees, we get them their books, uh, the computer labs where, where their, their fees are paid by, and the teachers, uh, because the government doesn't provide all the courses that we are helping the teachers, but there's more than that, Kalawan uh, Singh and Surinder actually go from this country three, three times to assess the needs of children, assess the needs of teachers and they are doing a terrific job to take the education forward. Mm.